that would go to battle, right? They would need something to protect themselves, like a shield or like a plate. So that's what the breastplate was for. And then he has a, a war club in his hand. He has an eagle wing in his hand. Um, just decorated with the most beautiful of hooves on his arm. And all of these things we are very connected to. So that's why we integrate these designs and these patterns, these beadwork designs into our regalia so we can showcase what family we come from and what tribe we come from as well. But as he moves up and down and navigates through this dance, he is really showcasing a warrior in battle. And that's what he is doing. This dance is called the duck and dive dance. And um, this is a very important dance for us. It originates from the Namipu people and is very noted and um, utilized all across North America with um, other uh, tribal people and other powwows. It's actually its own category now, but it is does originate from here and we're really honored to be able to witness this today. So um, go ahead and take it away, Lightning Creek, the duck and dive. Following that, Saquon is gonna go ahead and do the sneak up dance. dentillium shells. Stacia kind of talked a little bit about the dentillium shells. We traded with them down on the Columbia River and that's kind of how you showed your wealth back in the day. So if you didn't have shells on your dress you would have elk teeth also. And so elk teeth would show how prominent of a hunting family you came from. And so shells or elk teeth or um, brass, any certain little beads, that kind of showed how wealthy you were. So you kind of see us all decked out, and that's just to make us look nice, make us look really presentable. Hey, hey, hey. 